1963, the Americans were tremendously successful on Mount Everest. And if you, if you look at how that affected the generations of mountaineers to come, it's unparalleled. In fact, every, uh, every climber from the U.S. is literally climbing on the shoulders of giants in the Himalayas. And those giants were the members of that 63 Everest expedition. Thinking back, that was an incredible experience uh, and a stroke of luck that we were not competing in any way with uh, anything. Our only competition was ourselves to overcome our uh, weaknesses, errors, and misunderstandings uh, to reach the highest point of Earth. There's no question that we were over here uh, and willing to undertake more risk. Uh, when I came in and uh, to the base of the mountain, looked at that ice wall, I thought, hell, nobody would, in their right mind would climb through that. I looked for routes on either side, but then you go into avalanche areas uh, off the ridges. And so it was the route. There was no other route. After Jake was killed, the second day we started climbing, uh, you know, suddenly there's an additional purpose uh, in, a, in a way, you know, Jake being killed in the ice fall meant that we lost one of our team already, and what, what are you going to do, turn around and go home? No, you're going to even focus more on, on getting them out. The stunning fact that he didn't go down through the ice fall again. Once he was up here in the Western Coombe, he stayed up here, and I'm pretty certain he didn't have a day like I'm spending here getting rested. They were up here, they were working, they were pushing the climbing route. Uh, Jim and Gambu were instrumental in uh, finding a way up the Lhotse face and keeping the supply lines moving up there. Uh, they weren't sitting back waiting for their summit bid, they were making that summit bid possible and then they spearheaded it. In 1963, on May 1st, uh, Jim Whitaker and Noan Gambu fought their way to the summit of Mount Everest. With all my experience with 20 years of climbing Everest, I know that May 1st is a lot harder than May 20th, say. It's a lot colder, meaner. Uh, it's not much of a window, if you find a window, to go for the summit. So, I suspect now, there was no window. <laughs> I suspect now that there was nothing that was going to keep Jim Whitaker and Noan Gambu from the summit that day. And uh, yeah, it's my appreciation for for what they accomplished. Not not just getting to the top, but getting down alive. Just the two of them up there. Uh, pretty incredible. <laughs>